What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And guys, I'm excited for today's video considering we got a Moxie Salamence and a Clear Body Metagross team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But yeah, this team consists of two Pokemon that were highly anticipated ever since the Crown Tundra was announced. Salamence, Metagross, two amazing Pokemon. I cannot wait to show them all. Rocking out in the front spot, we got our boy Salamence. Moxie ability too, so when it takes out a Pokemon, it gets that attack boost. So every time it takes out a Pokemon, it just gets stronger and stronger and harder to take out each time. So I love that ability. It is awesome. It's also rocking that Lumberry, so it can't get put to sleep or any other status conditions it's got flying outrage for stab iron tail for coverage and protect because protect is amazing in doubles right next to him we got grim snarl over here and grim snarl is our screen pokemon with light screen reflect foul play to do some damage and swagger to actually boost attack but confuse the other pokemon so we're going to be using that on some special attackers and then normal item of that light clay and ability of prankster kabuto right or kaboot tops my fault my fault kaboot tops right behind my face came new pokemon in the crown tundra the fossil pokemon from gen 1 swift swim as its ability it's going to work well in the rain and pair well with the pelipper focus sash and then move set of liquidation aqua jet rock slide and x scissor i love his typing the rock and water it's just such a cool typing and i really cannot wait to show it off Pelipper right next to it, sets the rain, has that damp rock for longer rain, protect Tailwind, Scald, and Hurricane, normal move set for a Pelooper. Nice little Pelooper, I like calling it that, I don't know why. Bottom left, we got the boy Metagross, clear body, cannot get his stats changed or stats lowered, all that good stuff, with that Assault Vest so it can actually eat up more shots, Meteor Mash for stab, Zen Headbutt for stab, and then two coverage moves with Body Press and Ice Punch. And then in the final spot, we had to throw a nice little Legendary in this team. We got Raikou over here with Inner Focus and that Life Orb. Weather Ball will work well in the rain, Protect, Thunder, and Aurora Spear. But guys, this team right here was actually made by my boy Dante. He sent this team in on my Instagram DMs. If you guys are interested in making me teams or sending them to me, I would love your guys' help because there are tons of Pokemon in the Crown Tundra that I want to do videos on. So if you guys are interested, in or DM me over on my Instagram page. Link is in the description below. But guys, without further ado, let's hop on to that Rank Casual Ladder. Rank Casual Ladder? Huh? Why'd I say that? I don't know why I said that. But let's hop on to that Casual Ladder and try to get some wins with these new Pokemon. This guy's team's looking stacked for battle number one. Galarian Articuno, Faramosa, Raichu. He doesn't really fit in here. Raichu doesn't fit in here, but I guess it's his ability. He probably has Volt Absorb on him. He has Landorus, Tapu Koko, and Tapu Finny. Just a strong looking team right here. Hopefully we can counter up and do some work on it. I kind of want to lead. Not going to lie, I feel like Kabuto and Pelipper can do some work right off the rip and then bring Salamence in the back. But I also want to set up screens at the same time. But, but I got to remember that Raichu might be rocking Brick Break. It might be Rock and Brick Break, so that could be scary. Um, does he have any weather control? I feel like he doesn't. I just feel like Tapu Koko is a, is a strong Pokemon here. I do have my Focus Sash. I do have Swift Swim. I'm going to go Pelipper into uh, the Kabuto. I, th I think that's fine. I think that's fair. I mean, even though he has a lot of Pokemon that can do work. I can just do work all around. But still, let's get after it. Uh, we're going to bring Salamence here because I really want to show off Salamence. And I think we go Metagross too and just take total speed advantage. I don't think we're going to really need screens or anything. I think we just go into this. I think we just go into this. Even though I love playing uh, screens, reflex and light screens, I, I feel like I play better with teams like that. But we're just not going to be rocking down with it because that's pretty straightforward. You kind of just roll in there. You set up your screens, you neglect some damage out, and then you roll out and you start dominating the battle. But we're going to roll out without them. But guys, if you want to catch my streams, I've been streaming three plus days every single week. Streams are back. The link is in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Go hit that follow button. Turn on notifications so you know when I go live and come hang out with me. Chat it up. But, um... Here we go. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Who are you going to lead? That's my real question. Probably Raichu if I had to guess. Yeah, Raichu Articuno. Uh, Fake Out is going to be dropping. Probably up against... Uh, who is he going to be faking out? Probably my Kabuto. Go protect, protect Kabuto. And maybe try to set up a Tailwind. That could be the play. Because I want to keep my Sash. I really do want to keep my Sash here. I'm going to protect Kabuto. And uh, drop a Tailwind. See if I can get that off. That could be very, very helpful. Or I'm just going to double protect here. I think I just double protect turn one. Oh, I do not have protect over here. Then, in that case, I am definitely going to be dropping a, uh, a Tailwind. I'm going to be Tailwinding into a, uh, into a Rock Slide. This Rock Slide is, is stabbed with Kabuto. Man, I thought Kabuto had, uh, what's it called? Yeah, I knew he was coming after him. I knew he was coming after him. I thought Kabuto may maybe had Protect. But Tailwind from the Articuno. Okay, so good. We're going to see a Mirror Tailwind here. Kabuto is still going to be fastest on the field. Considering he has Swift Swim and the Tailwind Plus. That's, that's actually pretty big. So not a bad turn one. I I'm, I'm fine with that all day. And now I can actually just start uh, start uh, teeing off. So I'm going to go Hurricane into you. And I'm going to drop a Rock Slide as well. Because I want to make sure that Articuno goes down more so than the Raichu. 
Articuno just poses a way bigger threat. And that is competitive, so I really don't want to drop stats either. So I gotta watch out for that. You gotta watch out. Competitive Galarian Articuno. And I'm trying to think what else Raichu can do. I mean, he might drop an electric move. Which, uh, that's fine by me. I mean, you can go for it. I think I think we take him out here. Or or we at least get the flinch or something like that. Because I'm, I'm honestly thinking that what's called we'll take it out. No, not the rock side. Never mind. Kibuto's not going to hit that hard. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we're going to see a Dynamax coming out from the Articuno. It's got to be Articuno. It's in a Master Ball. If you caught a Raichu in a Master Ball, get out of my face. You're not allowed to play this game. <laughs> Unless it's a shiny one. Then then I can be like, all right, if you find this in a while, I'll give you props for it. But he's going to Dynamax Galarian Articuno. Um, I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that, considering of who we have in the back. We got our big old dragon dudes in the back. Old dragon and Metagross. Rockside pops. Doing some nice damage over on that Raichu. I'm hoping we get that flinch on it. Oh, we did get that flinch. Let's get it. Hurricane's going to pop out here. He's going to go for an airstream over on Kabuto. Kabuto eats that up. He's rock type, but they're just trying to take speed advantage, which is totally fine. Because I still feel like my Kabuto is faster than that Raichu, so I can take it out next turn with, a, with another rock slide. And then Hurricane's going to pop out. Maybe we get the ducks. Maybe we get the ducks. Show them to me. No ducks, man. That's whack. That's a little whack. Um, gonna go uh, hurricane here again, and I'm gonna drop another rock slide. And this should be able to pick up the double kill. I'm thinking Kabuto still outspeeds both of them, right? Because Swift Swim kind of acts as like a plus two, in my opinion. That's how I kind of say it. No, this thing actually outspeeds me. You whack cookie, and he's just gonna dump on me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Raichu's pretty fast. Hopefully, Kabuto outspeeds Articuno. I would kind of need that. I kind of need that to, to happen. I actually really, really want that to happen. Because he's going to take me out if not. So what is he? Plus one with Tailwind and I'm Swift Swim with Tailwind? That's actually really close. Landers comes out here. Landers is going to be able to eat off this rock side. No problem. Go ahead, Kabuto. Go first. Oh, you get that Intimidate drop. You buttery biscuit. Actually, I'm actually glad he used that before. Uh, who dodged it? Articuno dodged it. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. And Max Mindsword is going to come out here. You buttery biscuit, man. I'm actually glad he uh, brought out the Landers before the... Uh, so what's it called? Before my Salamence and Metagross came out here, because that would have been a huge problem. He's gonna set that terrain. That's actually going to work well for my uh my Metagross. I'll take that all day. We got that Soul Fest. But Salamence coming out here and you. Okay, cool. Let's get after it. He has no ice moves. What moves does he rock? He was rocking out, uh, he's flying in psychic. Already you know. And we're not sitting in a bad spot. We still have our Dynamax here too. And we got two awesome Pokemon and Intimidate's gonna come out. No, not Intimidate. Why do I think I've been Intimidate? I have Moxie on this thing. Alright, um, do I airstream here? We are flying a dragon, so I am gonna airstream. Start uh, trying to take speed control. I'm gonna drop a Zen headbutt over onto you. I think we might be able to uh, KO this uh, Articuno with that. I probably should have doubled up in the Articuno slot, but I'm gonna Zen headbutt over onto the landers. Yeah, I probably should have doubled up. The Salamence will definitely outspeed the Metagross. And I should have checked the speed of the Salamence too, because I really don't know, and I, and I would actually like to know. But Galarian Articuno has come down to a 4v2, but again, we still have our Dynamax. He's going to be out of Dynamaxes very, very soon. He might swap back in the Raichu to get a, a Protect and then back into Landers. That's what I think he's going to do. Not a Protect, a Fake Out, and then get back into the Landers for that Intimidate. But Metagross is clear body, which is awesome. And if we can take out this Articuno here, that puts us at plus one, and we'll be sitting very, very pretty, and Salamence can be shown off. Let's see what he actually does here. He is not going to swap. He's not going to swap, which is, I, I actually really like that play. I actually really like him not swapping because that Intimidate drop could be huge. But I need my boy Salamence to drop on this thing. I need him to drop this uh this Articuno. Get that Moxie boost. We'll be storming out here. We'll be rolling out and probably pick up the win if I can pick up this KO here. Dude, look at this thing. This thing's a monster. He's going to go for a Mindstorm. That's totally fine. Onto my Metagross slot. Okay. It is not very effective. I don't know why you're going for Max Mindstorm there. That's kinda, that was kind of lame. That was kind of dumb. But Airstream coming out, pick up the KO, please. Oh, no, bro. Yo, get out my face. Get out my face when I'm picking up that KO. That's whack. That is whack. Speed raises. EQ comes out here. Salamence and Articuno are both going to dodge it. But it's going to do some work over on my Metagross slot. Okay, Metagross does eat. Thank the Lord. Big eats. Here comes the Zen headbutt. Ready? Get him, get, him, get him out of my face. Do some damage to him. Oh, my God. We got both these guys on one. We got both these dudes legit on one. Um, hmm. How should I play this? I definitely got to airstream again and get that speed boost. Uh, I'm going to airstream, take out one of them, get a moxie boost. Um, who do I think, who's faster? Was it Articuno? Yeah, Articuno was faster. Uh, 
Hmm. Hmm. Rather use something with better accuracy. Make sure I pick up KO. Just go for a body press. But nah, I'd rather just go for a meteor mash. Meteor mash over on the landers. I wish I had protect with Metagross. I would have protected this turn. But Talmus is going to go first. We're going to pick up the KO. We're going to get the speed boost and the moxie boost, which is huge. So if Metagross goes first, I still think we're going we're gonna, to uh, win this match regardless. Even if Metagross doesn't go first. But I think Metagross should be able to outspeed. He's plus two. Landers has nothing on him. No, no speed boost on him, which is huge. Moxie boost coming out here. Next turn, we should be able to one-shot somebody. Metagross does not go first. Landers still outspeeds. Landers still outspeeds and takes out the Metagross. And it comes down to this. Comes down to this. Um, hmm. I gotta really think of how I, how I can play this one. But I don't, I'm not gonna hit the Landers this turn. I'm not gonna hit the Landers this turn. He's gonna bring out, hopefully he bites you. So he doesn't get the fake out later on me. They have the Moxie boost. I do have the Moxie boost. I believe nobody's sashed up. But I just wish I had double hitting moves. I wish I had double hitting moves, which I don't, I don't believe. So what, what, what are we rocking? Outrage, fly, uh, protect, and something else for coverage. What was it? What was your coverage move? It was, okay, it was Iron Tail. Hmm. No boost defense. I could lower attack stat. Attack stat could be actually a good call. Just take out the Raichu. Or do we think Raichu's protecting? And we just take out Landers. Because honestly... Landers poses a bigger threat than uh, Raichu. Raichu does pose a way bigger threat than... Uh, or Landers poses a bigger threat. But I think I'd rather take you out. Because if they double protect here, at least we can take out Landers and get another Moxie boost. Let's see what happens here. Here comes a Worm one. We'll lower attack stat, which is nice. The Landers gone. Get it out my face. Get it out my face. We're going for the Salamence Clutch right here. We're plus two speed. This thing's minus one attack. And now we are plus two attack. Dude, if I had a double hit move, we'd be sitting pretty. We'd be sitting real pretty. But my Dynamax is going to be over after this. I wonder what, what Raichu is going to go for. He's going to go for a Volt Switch, which is totally fine. All right, we eat that up. That's Tasty Eats. We got the Speed Advantage. I think I have to take out the other Pokemon. Because I don't think Raichu is going to be able to take me out in one shot. Not just... Yes. Ooh, Pheromosa is probably Sash, though. Is Pheromosa Sash or is Raichu holding the Sash? I think I have to go after that Pheromosa. I think I got to I think I gotta drop that thing. I think I'm going to fly, actually. Actually, I'm not gonna fly. Cause fly, you can read protect so easily. Hmm. What do I do here? What do I do here? Good Iron Tail. Or could Outrage. Hmm. I kind of want to fly. I think I'm gonna protect this turn. I think I am going to protect. Just to see what he's gonna do. See if I can force a protect out of him. I'm gonna protect here and just 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 to see his options here. Just to see his options. Going for the fake out. There's a the fake out. Oh, he's going. He, he was able to use fake out. Oh, he both switched out. So actually, that was a good uh, a good protect by me. That was a good protect by me. All right, so no more of that. This thing has an ice move, so you gotta go. You gotta go, Faramosa. What's your typing on that? What's the typing on Faramosa? Oh, let's see. It is bug and fighting. Okay. And it's rocking ice move. This one's too close. I think I outrage. I think I got outrage here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who's it gonna hit? Does it hit both? Does outrage hit both? Well, oh, I want to hit Faramosa. Take it out. Yes, Faramosa gone. Get out of my face. Get it out of here. No sash. That, that was the only thing I was really worried about was that sash. Moxie boost comes out here. That protect was actually really nice. But I totally forgot about the pick. I was just uh, looking for the read options. Volt switch comes out. That probably would have won him the game. The fake out into the what's it called? Into the ice beam. That would have been GG. And look at your boy. Look at your boy. Clutching it up with Salamence. Outrage should be able to just land here. Perfectly fine. Unless he protects. That's his only chance. Oh, we just canceled the battle. Let's get it. Yo, first battle was clutch. And we end up picking up that W. What is this? What is this? We're going up against Vincent over here using a team that I showcased on my channel. Look at that. Primarina, Dragonite, Chandelure, Amoongus, Comfy, and Galarian Moltres. Yo, Vincent, if you got if you are watching this video or you watch my videos, give me a little comment. Give me a little comment. I would love to know. But second battle, looking to get ourselves a win. Hopefully we can win. Especially uh, if it's up against a viewer, I would love to do that. But if the viewer beats me, that's even better. Like, no lie. I just love uh playing with you guys. But who should I lead? He's probably gonna go Comfy Dragonite. That's an option. He could go Trick Room, which um I mean he probably won't go Trick Room. He could go Amoongus Moltres. That's also a viable option. Um what do I really want to go here? 
I could set up screens. Hmm. What does jeans want to do? I kind of want to set up screens here. I don't want to set up screens, set the rain. Bring Salamis in the back. And maybe Kabuto if we have rain. He has no other way to change the weather besides Dynamaxing. So I'm going to bring Kabutops. I am going to bring Kabutops here. I think he just thrives. Well, let's get after it. Let's get after it. I'm hoping to get that. Get, get another win here. That last battle was actually a really good battle. I'm glad I got that one on recording. That was actually, it was like a longer drawn out battle, but we played that one actually very, very well to actually pick up that, uh, that big fat W for first battle. But battle number two coming at you guys, well, ladies and gentlemen. And he's going to go Dragon Knight and Comfort. Okay, that's fine. That is fine by me. He's going to, uh, he's going to trigger that weakness policy, and I'm going to set up a Reflect here and start rolling from there. Ref reflect Tailwind. I feel like that, that's, that's fine. If I get up Tailwind, then I can just bring in Salamence to kind of just start rocking off from there. And he does have Alice, which gotta watch out for that. Uh, let's get that Reflect up, because I know that thing is physical attacking. And I could start Scalding and maybe go for a burn. But I'd rather get off that uh, Tailwind first, to be honest with you. I'd rather get off that Tailwind. We're going to see a Draining Kits come out here. And the weakness policy is going to be triggered. Like, dude, this combo is so strong. Like, you guys are going to see. Like, I'm probably going to struggle going up against it. Like, it's just so strong. Like, when I use that, like, oh my god, I was just dominating. It was just straight fire. It was straight fire. But also, in my last video, that Reggie Drago combo, where you just use dragon energy and it just rips up everybody, that was amazing. If you guys haven't checked out that video, go check it out. Just at least watch that first battle. Like, we win the game in two turns. We take out all four Pokemon in two turns. It is absurd. But Dynamax, obviously, come from, coming out from the Dragonite. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. We already know what's going on here. We already know what's going on here. We already know it. We already know it. Dragonite coming out here. Like, I use this team. This guy has to watch my videos. I'm, like, the only one that showcased that team. A fan made me that team. But Draining Kiss comes out. Yeah, saw that coming all day. A little bit of Dynamax action. And then Weeks Posse is going to trigger. Uh, then what's called is going to go. We're going to be able to get off that Reflect, which is going to be huge. Because we got that Prankster ability. The so Reflect coming out here. Uh, going to neglect some of that damage, which is huge. Which is huge. And then Pelper is going to outspeed the Dragonite. Which is actually very, very nice. We're going to try to get a burn on that thing, too. Because that will actually help us out a lot. And the Airstream is going to come out here as well. Which is totally fine. Pelper should be able to eat that up fine. Oh, it does not. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, uh, no. I totally forgot about the weakness policy damage. Totally forgot about it. But it did its job. Got the rain. Got the tail went up. Uh, I'm totally going to get Salamence out here. I'm getting Salamence out here ASAP. ASAP. Uh, and, and I'm going to read the ally switch. And I'm 100% going to read the ally switch. I think that's the play. I think that is 100% the play to make. Read the ally switch. Uh, do I set up a light screen? I feel like I don't set up a light screen. I feel like I just Dynamax and... Uh... Actually, I, I could set up a light screen. But I'm totally Dynamax and reading that ally switch hard. I'm reading it hard. I'm going for it. I'll play the higher the attack stat, the greater the deals damage. I'm going to read it hard. I'm going to double up in that slot. I think I'm playing around. I think I'm playing around. I'm doubling up. I'm risking the dragon move going into that slot. That's how confident I am in this ally switch. Like, that's how confident I am. Go ahead. Show it to me, baby. Show me the ally switch. I'm thinking I have speed advantage. I'm thinking I have speed. I am so confident in this one. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Show me the ally switch. Like, the game depends on it. The game basically depends on it. I'm going out on a limb here. I'm trying to make that read. You got to be going for an ally switch. That's it. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me, baby. Give me it. Give me it, baby. Give me the ally switch. I'm in this dude's head. You don't play my team and expect me not to know what you're doing. You don't do that. You don't do that. Foul play should come out here. We should be able to outspeed with Grimstar. I'm thinking. I'm hoping at least. If I can, that, that he's done. And I need it. I need it right now. I need it right now. We got the... Oh, no, no, no. Eat up, buddy. I don't think we eat up. Yes. Salamence, I love you. Salamence, I love you. I can protect next turn, too. That was huge. That was huge. This one's going to be super close. This one's going to be super close. That attack drop was huge. Fat play comes out. Should be able to pick up the KO here. Yeah. Dragonite's gone. And who do I have in the back end? I still have Kabuto. We're in the rain. In the rain. He cannot change weather anyway. And we got plenty of time with the rain because it was damp rock. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing I got to look out for is going to be that uh, draining kiss. It's obviously going to come out and take me out. I could swagger that thing. That could be the play. No, he's going to get a uh, first turn. So I think I just protect this turn and start wasting that comfy turn. 
But yo, big read by me. I really needed that one. I really needed that read. To, to at least have a shot in this match. But the Confi's still chilling here, and that's going to just uh, take out my Salamence, basically. Hopefully he throws out a physical attacker so foul play can do some work. Amoongus is going to pop out here and just start putting me to sleep. Okay, that's fair. Fair double support. Uh, is that a play screen? Hmm. I don't even know. Um. I mean, I guess we can set up a train. Yeah, I'll set up a train here and I'll just guard. I have to guard. Waste a turn out here. We guarding. We guarding, dude. If that, if we took out Dragonite in one shot there, it was game over. It was game over easily. Man, dude, it would have been just GG. Or if Grimstar would have outsped. It was that plus one. The plus one got him from turn one. Sports can come out here, obviously. He's put me to sleep. So it's these two little boogers. I'd love to get a steel spike off or something along those lines. But that's like my only chance. Uh, I guess I'll go foul play. <laughs> I guess. And try to get off a steel spike. Or I can just go for a worm one. I'd rather, I'd rather, that thing's actually probably... It's holding Babiri Berry. Never mind. I already know what's holding. But Draining Kiss is obviously going to come out here. Eat it up somehow? No. Obviously not. Dead. Get it out of my face. All right. Talmud's gone. Oh my lord, dude. This match was so close. It was so close. We still have Kabu Tops, which uh, could be clutch for us. We got that rain. We got that uh, the stab in the rain as well. And this thing is just going to be a pester, annoying little Pokemon. We have screen set up. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. It's Tailwind or my Tailwind goes down. Hmm. Hmm. Do I go for the flinches here? Or do I just go for the stab shots? He does have Giga Drain, which is quite annoying. I don't want to just try to swagger this thing if we can't wake up and maybe drop a rock slide. Yeah, I'm going to drop a rock slide. Look for some flinches here. The boot top's definitely outspeeds. We still have Sash, but dude, that Giga Drain can be uh, deadly. I'm going to try to swagger that thing and get that Amoongus out the way because Amoongus is going to be pester mine. Dude, he brought Amoongus. Granny Kiss comes out here. Hey, yo, chill on me. Chill on me. Chill on my Grimmy Poo. Chill on my Grimmy. He's still slumped. Bro, get out of my face. And how aren't I outspeeding you? Oh, no, never mind. I understand everything. It's their abilities. Can I get a flinch on the Moongus, please? Nope. Bruh, what you mean? What you mean? Yeah, this one's pretty much over with. This one is pretty much over with. Unless my boy wakes up here. Unless my boy wakes up here. I'm just going to keep trying to swagger up on this thing. And then I guess I'll go for a rock side, but I'd rather kind of just go for, like, a liquidation. Draining Kiss comes out. He's gonna he's gonna go Giga Drain and Draining Kisses left and right. Watch, unless he reads my Grimstone while waking up, that'd be amazing. But dude, that Dragonite is an absolute bull. We're still slumped, bro. Get out my face. Get out my face. Get out my face. But yeah, that match this match definitely could have went either way, considering if if that Salamence takes out oh we're done. Oh my lord. If that Salamence takes out my what's it called? Or if my Salamence takes out his Dragonite, that's game over. That, that would have been game over. He hanged on by a thread. I know by thread, but yo, GG. I really do hope this is a viewer. I really do hope this is a viewer. But, uh, do I just run this battle? I mean, if we wake up, we still have a shot here. If Liquidation picks up the KO and, uh, we swagger this thing for confusion. So I'm not gonna back out just yet. Actually, no, Draining Kiss is just gonna come out. I should have backed out. I should have backed out. <laughs> Make a move, dude. Make a move. Come on, come on. He's gonna Draining Kiss me. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Kabutops goes down. And that is the game. That is the game. I'm actually, uh, I'm glad with both the battles we, we popped off and recording for. We got that awesome read. We got to actually show off how strong Dragonite actually is. Like, that thing bulked through a Max Wormwind stab from a Salamence. Like, that thing was a beast. Just ate it up. No problem whatsoever. He said, yo, that's a tasty snack. And basically won him the game. Because that Wormwind never got off. We're sitting at full HP, and we're taking out all these Pokemon left and right. Because we have the Steel move, even though I think it's a Babiri Berry. We have the Air move, take out that Amoongus, and then just Stab Dragon would have just been domination. But, yo, GG to this guy. I really do, do hope Vincent is a viewer. Vincent, if you are watching this video, you did play me. Yo, leave a comment. Leave a comment. GG to you, man. Whoa there. What is this? What is this? Look at this dude's team. I don't even know what that top Ultra Beast name is. I really don't. And the next one. But I know they're both Ultra Beasts. I, that's like the swole bug. The second one, he looks dope. He looks like Ant-Man on steroids. <laughs> but then he got Sungoa. Uh, what is that thing called? I have one of those Pokemon. That Electric Legendary. I forget what that thing's called too. Exernius and Tapu Koko. Just a star-studded Ultra Beast slash Legendary squad right here. Um, 
Who should I leave? Who should I go out with? I kind of want to set up a Tailwind. I kind of want to show off Raikou in this video, too. We have Raikou with that life form. That would have been clutch last battle, to be honest. So, let's get Raikou up in here. I might want to lead Raikou. I definitely want to go... Uh, I think I want to set up screens. I don't think we really... Actually, we might need Tailwind. Now, I'm going to set up screens. I'm going to go screens into... I think we're just going to star stud this lineup. I could go Metagross. I might actually want to lead Metagross. Like, who do I think you are going to lead? There's two electric Pokemon. Uh, I think we just leave Metagross. Metagross has a, a lot of good move sets. We're gonna go Metagross here with that Soul Fest as well. Raikou and bringing out Big Dog Salamence for this final battle. Looking to get a winning record. We're sent one and one. Played very, very well first and second battle. Hopefully we can clean this one up. Get ourselves a big fat W and uh, have ourselves a nice recording. But my boy Timmy over here. What's up, Timmy Bits? Tim Bits. But I always love uh, when I'm playing just like online, like either messing around or recording, just seeing people use teams that I showcase on my channel. Like, they have to be watching, right? They gotta be watching, you know? But Sun Gola comes out, and I don't even know how to pronounce this thing. This thing looks amazing, though. But yeah, look at that thing. That thing has like eight mouths. Its tongue has spikes on it. It's a crab slash spider slash bat slash trash bag. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> but Foul Play is definitely gonna come out here against Sun Gola. And actually, or do I set up a screen? Uh, are these guys physical? I think I'd be physical attacking. I'm gonna set up a, a reflect real quick. Okay, as much as I want to go for a foul play, I kind of just want to drop an ice punch over onto this thing. Where do I drop a body press? Hmm. Higher the user's defense is, the more damage I can. Uh, let me check out Metagross' stats. This thing's gotta be defense bulk, right? Let's see. Oh, it's not defense bulk. We're just attack HP. So I'm just gonna go for an ice punch and get that stab move on. Ice punch, dropping it over on the, this thing. I don't even know how to pronounce it. And gluterin, and gluterin, and gluterin sounds sounds correct. That sounds familiar. But reflect coming out here. Reflect and the sun steel strike. Yo, chill on me, dude. Is this a steel move or a fire move? I think it's a fire move. It's just gonna do some work. Oh, it's over on my him. It's a steel move then. Looks fire and steel. Looks crazy. But ice punch coming out here. Gonna do some nice damage over on that thing. Give me the freeze. Give me it. Freeze this thing out. We got a crit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big crit and cyber cancer. is gonna come out here. That's fine. That's a tasty snack. That's that's very very yummy. And now that we got that reflect up, I'm just gonna drop a foul play over onto you, and then just uh, ice punch once again over onto Englutering. Englutering. And this foul play should be able to do some nice damage, considering uh, some Sagola has uh, or Salgalio, however you pronounce it, has a uh, solid attack stat. But I always like when I'm playing in casual battles just going up against a bunch of different legendaries because a lot of people think like, oh dude, I'm gonna use legendaries and just run this. Like, no, like it shows like how like much there is to know about like competitive Pokemon, like the stats and all that. Like until I got into competitive Pokemon, I didn't really know too much about it. Like I didn't know how much it took. You gotta EV train, you gotta do all this stuff. We should be able to eat that up all day, yeah. Unless you get the burn. Please don't get the burn. Alright, uh, cool. But you don't realize how much there actually is with the EV training, the IVs. Like, you gotta know all about this stuff and how to get all that good stuff. Foulplay drops this thing down to red. We got a crit, baby. Another crit. Yeah, we got some, like, crit war going around my team right now. Ice Punch dropping that thing. Get it out of my face. Two of them would have did it anyway, so I'm fine with it. Bam, 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 bam. It's not like we're getting big crits where they're just, like, ending the Pokemon. But he looks so dope. I love the Sun and Moon box legendaries. If you guys are watching this video this long, I got a question of the day in the, later in the video. Let me know who your favorite box legendary is. By box legendary, I mean one who's on the box. So you guys know what I'm talking about. So like Exerneus is one for X. Togalio is one for Sun. Uh, we're gonna drop this thing, and then I'm just going to uh, go into a Meteor Mash and do some work on this thing. I could Dynamax. I still have Raikou in the back, which is pretty nice. Bam, 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 bam. Who I would actually like to get out? Raikou. Raikou's sick. Uh, what other box legendaries are the Ulrich Quasi School? My favorite is probably Kyogre. Like, Kyogre's always been my favorite legendary. For some reason, I don't know. But there are such, like, cool legendaries. Like, these two box art legendaries are awesome. X and Y and Sun and Move had awesome box art legendaries. Uh, I think Sword and Shield are, are, like, lower end box art legendaries, in my opinion. I don't think they're, like, top tier. And hey, he gets a crit. What you mean? Nah, I'm just playing with you. We got crits. That's just his payback crit. <laughs> I think he was taking out, us out regardless. Um, again, Metagross should be able to eat this up and get off a of Meteor Mash. Because this thing is a bulky beast, dude. So Galio takes himself out. And this Meteor Mash should be able to come through and do some big damage. Possibly taking this thing out. We got Stab on this thing. And we're all we're all in on our attack stat. Get out of my face. Get it out of here. Get gone, kid. 
didn't even use our Dynamax. We didn't even use our Dynamax. Actually, he has one more Pokemon. So I'm gonna get out Raikou. We shut off Salamence plenty of times in this video. Dun, dun, dun. And he goes out with Toro Rico? Okay, this is Spanish, I guess. Toco Rico! My dude! Or it's not Spanish, or maybe he just named it. Raikou Shiny. Like, dude, that's absurd, yo. That's awesome. Electric Surge coming out here. That's fine by me. Can I still? Yeah, I can drop an electric move on this thing, which I am going to do. I'm Life Orb, dog. I'm Life Orb. I'm going to drop a Thunder. Or I can go Weather Ball. <laughs> but nah, we're just going to drop a Thunder onto it. And then I'm going to just drop a Meteor Mash. Get that stab damage rolling. Get that stab damage rolling, baby. Top of Coco coming out here. He has a Fairy move. He has Fairy and Electric. We're chilling here. We are chilling. He just is GG in a can. He's Dynamax, and that's fine. I'm saving my Dynamax. I'm saving it, man. I don't need to use it. None of these Pokemon really deserve it. Considering Metagross's HP is low and Raikou's moveset is, is just poo-poo up against this Tapu Koko. So I'll save it for my Salamence if we really need it, but I, I'm not sure if we're going to need it or not. Actually, that, this could be tough. I should maybe Dynamax someone. I should maybe Dynamax somebody. We should out... Do we outspeed? Does Metagross outspeed? Surprise Raikou outspeeds, I think. Nice lightning coming out here onto my Metagross slot. Um... I think I have to Dynamax Raikou here, to be honest. This thing has a fairy move, right? It's got to have a fairy move. So I am going to uh, protect Salamence and Dynamax Raikou. I'm going to play this one safe, because if I Dynamax Salamence and he goes for a Starfall, like, he can just take out my Salamence and roll from there. So I, I got to go for you. We're doing that, and I'm just going to protect you. Actually, I can fly. No, I don't know if I'm pissed, so I'm just going to just gonna go with the Protect. Raikou, take the Dynamax, man. I don't want to lose this battle for something dumb. <laughs> we're just not Dynamax. We're Dynamax my Salamence just for it to get dumped on by Tapu Koko. As I can see, Tapu Koko 100% outspeed in Salamence. I'm surprised it doesn't outspeed Raikou. I kind of want to see Raikou's speed. Or unless that thing has no EVs in it. I don't know. I seriously have no idea. But Raikou, get after it. Like, it's crazy to see, like, these shiny legendaries. Because I feel like shiny legendaries are, e are a lot easier to get in this game. Than in any other game. Like every other game, you have like soft reset, do this, do this, do that. This one, you hop into the raid dens, and there's like little like I guess glitches you can do, or like quick soft resets, to uh, be able to just keep spawning that legendary and rolling out from there, and just having a high chance of getting shiny. But lightning's gonna pop here, get it, doing some more damage. This will not take out, but it's gonna make it close. Yep, bring it out to the red, and now we're chilling just fine. Are we gonna see a starfall? Was my protect read nice? No, we're gonna see another max lightning. But it's going in for my salamence. So we read the shot coming out over there. I'm surprised he didn't go for a starfall. But that's gonna be GG. That is gonna be GG. Uh I guess I'll Iron Tail. It's the only thing that, that can do somewhat of an attack to this thing. <laughs> Max Lightning comes out and yo, GG, we go two and one for this video. Awesome recorded. I'm hype. I'm hype with that. And we gotta show off another awesome team, especially Salamence. We really got to show off Salamence in today's video. We did have Metagross on our team, but we didn't get to show them off as much. But it's okay. I got a Metagross team coming on the way, which shows them off better than we could have in this video. One last shout out to my boy Dante for making this team. I absolutely loved it. We got to show off that Salamence. He was an absolute beast. Had that Moxie boost in the first battle where we just rolled out there, kept boosting our attack and dominating our battle. Second battle, we made an amazing read, but Dragonite is just too bulky and was able to eat up a max worm win somehow. And then in that third and final battle, we played pretty well, showed off a lot of these Pokemon and got ourselves the winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.